Okay, for the next two days, we're going to be working on cover letter and resume. And you might be thinking, hey, I already have a cover letter and resume. So what we're doing over the next two days is confirming and analyzing that you know what should be in a cover letter and a resume and analyzing and updating your current cover letter and resume to include more items if you are missing any of these things. So I'm assuming many of you already have one. In fact, you're probably already working. And so we're looking to see, can we improve upon the current cover letter and resume that you have? So here's the assignment in the bin. Uh, this video is going to be posted right here in just a second. On the first day, we go over some notes and you're going to complete the notes that are attached right here and then write an updated cover letter and resume on day two. So the first day is really looking at the components, talking about what should go into it, watching a few videos, looking through some notes. Second day is actually writing the cover letter and resume, cover letter and resume, or analyzing yours and updating it. Whether you're doing this assignment, oops, sorry. Whether you're doing this assignment from home or in class, please go through the note slides, read through each slide, watch each video to be able to complete the notes. And this first day, we're really talking about the components. And then this second day, we want you to actually create the cover letter and resume. Feel free to use the attached template if you wanna just start brand new or you don't like yours. And there's also many other templates you can choose from in Google Docs if you want. So just looking at your current one to see if it has all the com components or starting a new one if you prefer. So if you click on the assignment, you'll notice here that there are several attachments. The first attachment is the notes that as I'm going, uh, the student notes that is, as the PowerPoint is separate over here, you're going to be going through and answering these questions about it. So let's take a look at the questions you're going to be responding to. If you want a job, how do you convince the person you're the right person for that job? What would you want to do to prepare for a conversation with that person? What would you tell the employer to convince them that you're the person they should hire? In fact, they sometimes ask you straight out, why should I hire you? And you want to be prepared for that question. What other things might you do to further convince the employer? And name other ways you can impress the potential employer. After watching the video in the notes, what challenges might you face when producing a resume? What could you do to overcome these challenges? Take a few notes here on the resume writing tips video. Take a few tips here. Takeaways during the cover letter tips video. Here's some fast facts that you include in your cover letter. You're going to list out at least 10. And then here's facts to include in your resume. You're going to list out at least 10. And then using the attached analyzing your resume and cover letter document, you're going to write down 14 things that you didn't know that you should or should include in a resume or cover letter. So things you did not know, something that's new to you. And so how do you fill that out? You go into these notes and you go through the slides and you watch the videos, okay? Um, what are the other things I've attached here? Here is the resume template. Laisha and Hada, please report to the attendance office. So this resume is just a blank template that you could start with if you want. You don't have to. I've also given you a student sample resume, somebody without any job experience. I've given you my teacher sample resume and an example cover letter as well. And we'll be going through a lot of details in class on these. But so those are all just resources for you. Please email me if you have any questions and good luck updating your cover letter and resume.